what happened on July 24th, 1999. This is after seven years of intensive research, going through literally thousands of pages of legal documents, depositions, and witness testimony. So, Randy West and Demetrius live here on Queenstown Court, right here, okay? They live right here, okay? They would often step over the balcony of their neighbor, okay? This is where Charles Flynn lived, which was his place, the top floor. So on July 24th, 1999, we're talking around early evening, gotta be around 7.30 or so, Demo steps over to watch the sunset. There's the Pacific Ocean right there. Okay, there's the Pacific Ocean. So he's watching the sunset. He's up here on the balcony. The real question is this. Did Demo know the woman that lived in that room? Because there's conflicting reports. I mean, I've read a deposition that says she encountered him and screamed, and then Charles Flynn came upstairs. Charles Flynn's official deposition says, I heard commotion, I went upstairs to see what was going on, and then I found Demo asleep on the bed. This, he said this black man asleep on the bed, and he was startled. I am confused by that though, because that's contradictory. How can you hear footsteps and then run upstairs to see a man asleep on the bed in the, in the matter of seconds? It doesn't make sense. The story doesn't quite add up, okay? Demo says, I'm sorry, I was so comfortable, I was, I'm exhausted, I played volleyball today, I just opened the door and passed out. You know, he was like, the place has been a vacation home, it's been, you know, vacant for six months. The neighbor, Charles Flynn, was pissed. And Demo said, hey, do you want me to leave the way I came in? And he did. So he stepped his foot, you know, hurdled this right here, went back inside, Randy West, you know, it's 1999, He's downloading a floppy disk. And Randy says, what's up? And Demo's like, I need you to come vouch for me. The neighbor says he doesn't know who I am. And I think we're, I'm in trouble. So he comes out. They come downstairs. They come out here. They're walking. They're walking here. Charles Flynn is right here. And he is talking to a dispatcher. He actually called a non-emergency number explained exactly what happened to her, and then she called this in as a class one felony, a breaking and entering. So that, in, in turn, they called a helicopter into it. So now we're at, talking a very tense moment. And the squad car pulls up right here. Robert Wills, one of the officers, says, it's so odd because the RP, the reporting party, Charles Flynn, is talking cordially with the suspect, Demetrius Dubose. And the reason they were talking cordially is because Randy West calmed down the situation and had it completely resolved by the time they got there. That's why they're talking and laughing. Charles Flynn even says it's cool. But they press, is that the guy? Is that the suspect? Yes. They separate them. Charles Flynn's over here. Okay, Randy West is here. Demo is here, and they're sitting here, and they're being questioned. Demo doesn't really want to talk. He's sipping on a coffee in a styrofoam cup. He's upset. He's frustrated. He, he realizes, I think, in, in many ways, that he did kind of a dumb thing, Just, but it was innocent. It did not do anything to the house or anything in that room. The cops press Demo. They say, hey. Have you ever been arrested for anything else? And he said, I don't understand why you're asking me that. It's been resolved. But he decides to answer the questions and says, yes, I have been arrested. For what? You know, possession of a controlled substance. That's what he tells them. At that point, they say, stand up and put your arms behind your back. You're under arrest. Demo's like, whoa, whoa, I didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything. At that point, Wills, Officer Wills, Pepper sprays Demo in the face. Demo jumps over the flower bed here, and he takes off down Queenstown. Randy West is still on the steps. Robert Wills is right on his ass. Now, what was told was that Timothy Keating was on his back, and Demo flipped him here into a flower bed. What Randy West says happens 
is that Tim Keating was running after Demo and fell. And his flashlight went flying. He just picks his flashlight up. Wells and Demo are way down here. They're 50 feet ahead of us. Okay? They go, they turn this corner. Keating's 150 feet behind him. They turn the corner. Demo stops right here. He stops. When he stops, Robert Wills takes out his nunchuck up and begins beating him. Keating turns the corner. He also begins beating Demo with nunchuckers. Okay? Demo is here. The cops are on him beating. He takes the nunchucks out of their hands. He drops them on the ground. And he does a little dance. First shot hits him right here. Rio Yonker, a witness, is right there. Demo goes down. He's twisting and turning. They continue to fire into him. He is right here. Or right there, I don't know. But he's right around here. And then the witness today says that he saw them shoot into his body as he's lying there. That's what I know happens from reading those reports. That is my perspective on what happened the night of July 24th, 1999, when Demetrius DuBose was shot 13 times. That's a wrap. Nice. Good job. Close out.